All right, Tana, again, we're going to talk about running backs, and I think a guy that deserves his own video is Gibson, right? Yeah. A guy that played receiver, has a lot of growing to do as a runner. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about right here. So, again, this is the first play we're going to pick. It's a nice run by him against New Orleans, and let's just take a look and let, let it run through real quick. Again, everyone sees this, fans see this, and say, man, this is a great play. Look at yeah. him. Look what he's doing, finding this space, making people miss. I feel the same way. Yeah. When I went back and watched the tape, and I watched the tape with you, and we mm -hmm. saw something very particular, right? He's, he's doing the outside zone thing here. What what do you see here when you see him making this cut? Just a bit immature with, you know, just knowing what he really sees. You yes. know, one of the things about backs, this could have been a lot easier if he just press it. Yeah. Press it, get these guys to overrun it, and then cut. But he tried to press too too early to the to the hole yep. instead of pressing and showing these guys something different and so but by him being so dynamic as a runner he he was he was able to overcome his mistake yes. and that's something that we want to see a little more of him not having to worry about and when you say to that when you say press it like you can see his shoulders are pointing this way yeah. you want him to out here right Bingo. setting up this block get these guys to flow over the top get out of the way right and the second that he feels this color here, where's the ball gotta go? It's gotta go behind this guard here, right? So if you watch this clip, right, he kind of bounces outside because mm -hmm. he's trying to get to this space. That's Fugazi, yeah. that's not real space out there. Oh, yeah. But again, he's able to get back to the cut where he needs to. But again, seeing that early and mm -hmm. having that right angle is so important. And that's something that he did get better yeah. at. And that's why we're oh, yeah. excited to talk about him oh, yeah. today, right? Is because as the season went on, he improved in that area. And that's something that as a runner, you so gotta a see, lot of right? Growth. Yeah. yeah, so let's take a look. Again, this is the last game of the season. We got outsides on here. And I just wanna point out, just watch his shoulders, right? Mm -hmm. Watch his shoulders, watch his patience here. Look at this, excellent pushing everybody to their mm -hmm. blocks. Everyone's getting sticky here. Same run. It's a, Yeah, very similar run, run, exactly. And then him putting his foot in the ground, and then, I mean, when you see this, Tanner, what yeah. are you thinking? <laughs> Head on the goal, folks. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, but again, that's that is all set up because the stuff Tanner was talking about here, mm -hmm. right? Just being patient, pressing his linebackers, and then he knows he knows the ball's gotta cut back here. He yeah. knows, right? This is where it's gotta go. This, this guard's gonna have a hard time reaching uh, Leonard here. Again, just press this run. Cut back behind this. I mean, that is a thing of beauty. Kyle yeah. Shanahan's having a party out in, Cal in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Love that. And again, there's even more nuance to it, right? Because mm -hmm. like you got to set up blocks all the time, yep. right? Even at the line of scrimmage. No doubt. So let's take a look here. Again, kind of attacking downhill. And I think it just shows a tremendous maturity by him, right? This run is really muddy. As a returner, when you see this picture, yeah. Not great. You yeah, got to do some magic here, right? Yeah, dance a little bit. Yeah, and so it's a subtle thing, Tanner, but you see that right there? What yeah, is that? Very subtle. He showed them something that they wanted to see. Yeah. He gave them just what they wanted, wanted to see. He wanted to see him jump into the open area. Yes. And that's what he did. You want me there? I'm going to show you there, and I'm going to get right back to where I'm trying to and go. I love that you point that out, right? Because it's a subtle move, but he knows where this run's got to go. He knows he has to set up uh, Schweitzer's block here, right? And mm -hmm. it's just this little subtle head fake out. To get back in, and that's it. That's that's there's a tremendous maturity yeah. and understanding, right? A lot of growth, right there. Yeah, absolutely, man. And then again, another thing he's got to get better at is making people miss with arm tackles. Mm -hmm. And when you saw this clip, you kind of like were speechless for a second. Why is that? Because one of the things he can do so well, man, is that like I said before, he's a freak of nature, yeah. man. He's a guy that you just can't put a guy in the backfield and say be a become an every down running right. back. But he showed you he can do that. Yeah. And that what makes you say, man, this guy upside is is up there yeah. because you want to see that more, but you can see at times he takes steps back. Yes, absolutely, man. I'm so excited to see how he grows moving forward.